Travel, this is the Hacker 7 and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to run CC Cleaner to run to clean your computer every day. Now, this is a great tutorial, guys, because um, I'm a big fan of self computer maintenance, which means uh, a computer that keeps itself running fast. Now, CC Cleaner is a great program that helps you uh, run fast, but like a lot of people, you know, you may forget to run it and clean your computer. I'm going to show you guys how to take five minutes out of your day and make it run every day in the background. To do this, guys, just open up CCleaner. So, open up CCleaner, and you're, what you want to do is you're going to go to the cleaner section, obviously, and select the um, options you want to be cleaned. So, you might want to, because it's cleaning every day, you might actually want to disable history and maybe cookies for your browsers and any other programs. So you might want to uh, um, detect those basically, uncheck them. So once you have everything that you want ticked, go to the options and then go to advanced. And make sure save all settings to NIN file is selected. So yours will be like that, make sure you click it. This creates a little text file with your settings. So make sure that is checked. That's a very important part. Once that is checked, guys, you can exit out. And we're going to use a built in program called Task Scheduler. Most people don't know what this program um, It's a great program for running things uh, scheduled, basically. To get to this, guys, go Accessories, System Tools, Task Scheduler. And of course, you guys can search it if you want. Once you're here, guys, all you gotta do is go to create task. Sorry, create basic task. We don't need all that, the extra stuff right now. Great, so um, for a name, just put run. Oops. So run C cleaner. And then for description, you don't have to put descriptions up to you guys. Um, run every night. All right, so you might want to put a little description for a layer reference. Click next. This is uh, up to you guys right here. So you can choose when you want the tasks to happen: daily, weekly, monthly, one time. Uh, one time is just a bad idea; it defeats the whole purpose of this video. Um, when the computer starts, when I log on, or when a specific event is logged. I suggest other daily, weekly, maybe monthly, so it's up to you guys. Uh, choose one of them. Uh, I suggest daily, probably, or monthly, or sorry, daily or weekly. Once you have yours, uh, just hit next. And if you're leaving it a daily, make sure your recur every one day has happened. And make sure you click synchronize across time zones. And then choose your time. So I'm probably gonna go around seven o'clock because my computer is always on at seven o'clock. And your start date should be the day that is that unless you're doing weekly. If you're doing weekly, then you might want to choose a different day for it to start. So if you want it to uh, go every week, you might want to do a Friday, so the 11th, and then make sure you hit seven days. So once you have that, just hit next again, and we, what we'll have is start our program. And now we'll have to select the file. So go to your Windows 7 drive, go to Program Files, and file C Cleaner, and then select the file. Once you have that, you have to go. This is a very important step, everyone. This uh, makes the whole thing work. Next, to add arguments, um, optional. Make sure you add backslash caps lock auto. Make sure everything is in capitals. It has to be in capitals for CC Cleaner to, to work. So again, backslash auto. Once you have that, you guys are all good. Hit next again. And this is just a overview. So once you're good with that, guys, all you gotta, I suggest this highly is clicking this little properties tab right here. Then click finish. If this opens, then basically the task has been created. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go and click right here and put 
run with highlights privileges. Um, go to act or go to conditions, and you might want to wait. Here's some other go and steal. So you might want to make it only if the computer is is ideal, so, or idle. Sorry. So you don't pick how long it's idle for, and wait for ideal for. So if it's I'm putting if it's that boom. And then I'm gonna untick this because it's very fast, guys. Um, it takes about five seconds for it to clean. So even if you catch the five seconds that it's waking up, I suggest unticking that. Uh, Power-wise, my computer's always on, so um, you might do that. If you put the computer to sleep a lot, you might want to do that. And if a connection's available, so do that. And once you have your settings, um, settings you don't really need to do anything with this. So make sure make sure you have that, guys. So make sure you click one of the highest privileges, and under conditions, uh, if you want to wait idle for and power wise, you're all good. So once you're done with that, guys, you guys can hit OK, and your task has been created. So to uh, to view all your tasks. All you gotta do is go to click on this task schedule library and you'll get all of them. You can pull it down a bit if you want. And these are all your tasks. So if you go, you should be able to find run C cleaner. There it is. And if you right click on it, you will see run. And if you guys see in the corner right there, C cleaner is cleaning. Alright, so and there you go guys, that's what it does it every day. So that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you guys liked the video, please like and thumbs up. Um, and otherwise, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 7 and I'm signing off.